Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh and in this video we will be talking about the metabolism of hydroxyl group containing amino acids that is serine. Ok, so in our previous videos we have discussed about the glycine amino acid where the serine is useful in making of glycine. So that reaction which is making glycine, serine to glycine, serine hydroxymethyl transferase where the involvement of folic acid as uh, involvement, I mean, like uh, TH uh, tetrahydrofolate converted into N5, N10 methyl methylene tetrahydrofolate. So, that is a reversible reaction. So, how it is forming glycine, same way glycine can also form serine. So, first we will see what are all the sources of serine in our body. Phosphoglycerate. This is a major source of serine in the body. The steps involved in dehydrogenation, transamination, and removal of phosphate group. So, with this, you can make serine. And second thing, as I said, glycine by reversal of serine hydroxymethyl transferase reaction. Third one, serine may also be formed by transamination of hydroxypyruvate with alanine. So, alanine plus hydroxypyruvate will give pyruvate and serine because here alanine accepts hydroxy group from hydroxypyruvate so to form serine and after donating its hydroxy group, pyruvate is forming free pyruvate. See, when you see the diagrammatic presentation, 3 phosphoglycerate undergo dehydrogenation and to form 3 phosphodihydroxypyruvate and this 3 phosphodihydroxypyruvate by transamination would form phosphoserine. And when you remove the phosphate group, so phosphoserine is converted into serine. So there is dehydrogenation, transamination, and phosphate group removal. So three steps are there. So here reduced equivalence NAD is involved to convert into NADH plus H plus, and glutamate is a donor of uh, amino group, so it is converted into alpha ketoglutarate. So we have seen the anabolism of serine, I mean, how the serine is making in our body. So because it is a non essential, serine is also a non essential like uh, glycine. So now we will see catabolism and how it will be degraded in our body. So first thing is deamination. So deamination means, so when you want to degrade glycine, glycine has to convert serine, serine to pyruvate formation. Same way here serine is converting into pyruvate via deamination and transamination to hydroxypyruvate and because and serine is a glucogenic. You see here it is a PLP, pyridoxyl phosphate, the coenzyme, vitamin B6 water soluble or vitamin. So, serine decarboxylase is the one which converts serine into ethanolamine. Choline synthesis. Choline synthesis, uh, serine is decarboxylated with ethanolamine by paradoxal phosphate dependent decarboxylase. Choline is used for acetyl choline synthesis, which is an important neurotransmitter. And from choline, three one carbon groups can be removed, and choline is an important one carbon donor. So, this way, serine is useful in making choline. And choline is again involved in making of acetyl choline, which is an important neurotransmitter. So, serine as a component of protein. In phosphoprotein, serine serves as esterifying the phosphate groups, example casein. So, phosphoprotein means majorly it is present in casein. So, serine is an important amino acid over there. And glycogen phosphorylase is activated by phosphorylation, while pyruvate kinase and phosphofructor kinase 2 are activated by dephosphorylation. All these phosphor things, the serine is there. Okay, so that is the importance of serine. The covalent modification serves as mechanism of regulation of enzyme activity. The phosphate group is added by protein kinase which are serine 3 on kinases. So, the phosphate group, all phosphorylation reactions which are taking place by protein kinases, so they are all serine 3 on three based kinases. In glycoproteins, the carbohydrate groups are usually attached to hydroxyl groups of serine or 3 on residues of the protein. So, whenever there is a combination of carbohydrate and protein, so both are linked with the help of the amino acid serine or threonine because they carry hydroxyl groups. So, hydroxyl groups are easy to attach with the other protein substances other than proteins. Serine from active catalytic residue of many enzymes because any enzyme you take there is a place called active site. So, where the substrate go and bind. So, that active site of most of the enzymes made by the amino acid serine. So, when you see the flow chart here, glycine, it forms serine, it forms ethanolamine, methyl ethanolamine, dimethyl ethanolamine, it forms finally choline and choline to acetyl choline and finally it forms betaine. So, again dimethyl glycine, sarcosine and finally glycine. So, it is like a glycine serine choline cycle. So, first glycine converted to serine, serine to ethanolamine to choline, choline to betaine, betaine to sarcosine and finally glycine. So, it is again they are all rotating, they are all in a cycle and they are all contributing one carbon pool. So, they will be contributing at the same time they will be taking. Selenocysteine. So, what is this selenocysteine? So, here selenocysteine is a 21st amino acid. Okay, it is abbreviated as SCCYC. So, this selenocysteine can be seen in thioredoxine reductase, glutathione peroxidase, diiodinase selenoprotein which is a glycoprotein seen in animals and the concentration falls in selenium deficiency its structure is COOH, CH, H2, CH2, SCH. Protein I mean as like if you see the functions of serine making of glycine, one carbon pool, pyruvate to alanine glucogenic, again glucose formation, choline formation, acetyl choline formation, 
uh, synthesis of uh, other phospholipids, sphingosine like phosphatidylserine, okay, sphingosine formation, cysteine formation, selenocysteine. So, for all this making, we require serine. So, next amino acid to be discussed uh, that is alanine. Alanine again is a non essential glucogenic amino acid. Alanine can be formed by transamination of pyruvate. The enzyme is alanine aminotransferase, pyruvate plus glutamate to form alanine plus alpha ketoglutarate. The reaction is PLP dependent, PLP we know pyroxyl phosphate. ALT level in blood increases in case of liver disease, so it is acting as a marker for liver healthiness. And under conditions of starvation, the glucose alanine cycle is uh, one which provides energy transporting alanine from muscles to liver, where alanine will be split to pyruvate as a glucogenic uh, substance and removed ammonia will be diverted in. Euro formation. Alanine is qualitative, quantitatively the most important amino acid taken up by the liver from peripheral tissues, particularly from skeletal muscles. It forms major uh, participant in interorgan transport of nitrogen. What is beta alanine? So, beta alanine it is an amino group attached to the beta carbon atom. It is formed during the catabolism of pyrimidine bases, cytosine, and uracil. It is mainly used for synthesis of coenzyme A. Threonine. What is threonine? It is an essential amino acid. So, initially we were discussing about serine which is a non-essential amino acid but threonine it is an essential amino acid so there is no anabolism so we are not talking about its synthesis in our body but only catabolism part once threonine reaches into our body via diet so what is the fate of threonine only we can see so it is also a glucogenic like serine threonine has two asymmetric carbons and it has got four dias dia stereoisomers namely d threonine l threonine lalothreonine and then d allothreonine Threonine doesn't directly undergo transamination but undergoes deamination forming alpha ketoabutyric acid. The enzyme is threonine dehydratase. The hydroxyl group of threonine residue in protein serves to provide the site for phosphorylation as like serine. This hydroxyl group is also serves for combination of combining the other than protein substances like carbohydrates to proteins and making of glycoproteins. So that's all about hydroxyl group containing acid metabolism along with the alanine. Thanks for watching. Thank you.